a stepfather telling his daughter that he loved to see their daughter's bodies in the face. He said, hey, you are more beautiful than your mom. Cousins who have feelings towards each other, who met frequently during family gatherings, or even living in the same house. Some says it's normal. Some says it's okay, nothing to be worried. But no, no, it's not normal. I don't think it's normal. It's a horrible kind of corruption of mind, if you think in that way. It might lead to incest and many other sexual activities. Incest is a sexual relations or intercourse between closely related persons, uh, such as a mother and son, brother and sister. A sexual relationship with any blood relation regardless of how distant uh, that connection is. In this video, we'll be talking about what is incest, categories of incest, types of incest, factors leading to incest, the impacts, and also the preventative measures. Incest is defined as an occurrence of sexual relations between close blood relatives, between persons related to each other socially. For example, by marriage or related in a way that is culturally regarded as a to bar, as a bar to sexual relation, and they are forbidden by law to marry. In Islam, incest refers to those who are so closely related that they are forbidden to marry and have sexual intercourse, at least in their Quran. The relevant verses are addressed to men and detail exactly which women are unlawful as supposes. The Quran discussion opens by outlawing the pre-Islamic custom that allowed an heir to inherit his stepmother as a wife after his father's death. Do not marry women who, who your father married, except what has already occurred in the past. It was absent abhorrent and evil practice. There are three categories of incest. Firstly, the consanguineal incest, which is between the relative. Secondly, the affineal incest. It is between the adoption of marriage. Thirdly, is a quasi-relative incest. It's the foster parent or living partner who takes the role as a husband and also a father. There are four types of incest, cross-generational incest, pure incest, same-sex incest, multiple incest. Well, in this video, we'll be focusing more in cross-generational incest, which means the incest activities between relatives, such as father, father-in-law, stepfather, grandfather, and of course, with the kids and children. What could be the factors of incest? There are many possible factors that could lead to incest. But before that, let us watch the interview session we had with the experts and the non-experts on this matter. But other things I see, there are many, many things. For example, uh, economic. In a house, uh, where it could be a poor family, they live together. So of course, there are many factors that consider uh, that can lead to incest. 
for example, uh, because of the poverty. Or even schizophrenia sometimes, you know, because of their uh, chronic uh, illness, chronic schizophrenia, they have reduced in terms of judgment. So uh, they, have, they don't have uh, friends. So, uh, and, and then sometimes under the influ influence of the illness, for example, like schizophrenia, when they have this, what we call uh, psychosis, they're hearing voices, you know, they have uh, some belief, a very weird belief without any base. Uh, this is the nature of the illness itself. So the voices tell them, uh, told, tell them, go and do this, this, this. they just follow. You know, uh, so they may actually uh, uh, do incest acti activity. According to Dr. Nick Broskiman and Madam Zurina, one of the factors of incest is poverty. When a family, especially a big family who lives with only one room, where the parents and the children have to share their sleeping spaces to together, it can trigger incest because there is no privacy between them. This usually happens when the father or the brother could not think rationally anymore and try to molest his daughter or his sister when she is sleeping. This eventually could lead to other kinds of sexual activities when there is no further action taken. Another factor of incest is mental illness. According to Dr. Rusty, patients who have mental illness such as schizophrenia it can lead to incest due to their intellectual disability and poor judgment. This is because patients with schizophrenia sometimes have psychosis, such as hearing voices and mute beliefs. For example, the voice asks them to do this and that, which is the nature of the illness. Therefore, due to their poor judgment, some of them could do something that is related to incest due to their intellectual disability. So, I have interviewed a student from IPG Temagong Ibrahim Johor Bahru. This is because I wanted to know what is the public's knowledge regarding incest. So, I found that there are a few factors other than poverty and mental illness. There are other factors such as family problems and social problems. I think some of the most uh, factors are family problems, social problems, and also poverty. I think uh, living in an unhealthy environment like this will make the children feel unprotected and definitely will expose them to sexual predators. So based on the interview session, I can conclude that family problems can can be a factor that contributes to incest. This is because sometimes the roles of the child and parent can get mixed up. For example, the husband and wife may unable to show affection towards each other, which causes the father to turn to his daughter for affection. Other than that, a failing marriage can also be a factor. When a daughter takes a lot of the mother's responsibility, the father may expect her to fulfill her mother's sexual role as well. This will make home an unhappy place as there is no security in living there. As I mentioned just now, uh, as a consequence of incest, uh, there is an increased uh, rate of uh, substance abuse and substance use disorder. And especially among males, you know? especially males that been uh, a victim of, you know, sumbang moram juga, dia panggil liwat lah. Ah. So this group of people, they they coping with substance use. You know, uh, you might be wondering why people take drugs. So incest is one of the, uh, one of the reasons why, you know, in order to 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 forget all this, they they go and self medicate. You know, they use drugs. Uh, because of this, uh, you know, mental stress, depression, and so on, it takes eyes. Me and my team members also have interviewed Dr. Rusdi bin Abdul Rashid, a psychiatrist from U University Malaya Medical Center. He also mentioned one of the factors could possibly be uh, social problems. Incest can cause lasting emotional and physical problems that can that carries on into adulthood. As teenagers, they sometimes feel like they are not in a place 
of control to change the situation. Hence, they usually tend to keep it a secret which leads them to depression and anxiety. Many people struggle with drug or alcohol addiction if they have an abusive home. Then they will use the and they, then they will use these illegal things as a way to numb their painful feelings or let go of intrusive memories. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Hafiza and the prevention for incest is school education. Incest and sexual abuse cases has been rising in the past two decades. Many children become victims to their own family members and they still Many of them that didn't report it and just keep quiet. Children in the 21st century tend to reach puberty much faster than before due to diet and a more modern lifestyle. We need to let them know the physical changes in their bodies and guide them through puberty. Sexual predators are more likely to target innocent children and most of them don't know who they need to ask for help. School have to educate and guide them on sexual advance and sexuality. They need to be taught reproductive health so that they know their own bodies and how it works. Next is medical checkup. Regular medical checkups by the hospital is a good way to know if the child has been sexually abused or not. Victims tend to just keep quiet about it and maybe even have been threatened. If the parents refuse to take their children to do the medical checkup, we need to make further investigation about the child's circles. This may not be the best way, but from here, we can make a chance to all the victim life. Next, internet or media, for example, campaign. Campaign is a great way to open more people's eyes regarding this sensitive topic. For example, James Nyagam of the Suryana Welfare Society said that we need to target the right group in this society. We can educate children, but awareness is created among mothers, and we also have to provide them with assurance that they will be safe, he said. Many mothers who always depend on their husband or maybe boyfriends for a living always likely hide the fact that their children has been sexually abused in fear of getting divorced or kicked out. When they reach a certain age, then you have to start separate them from their bedroom. This is what Prophet asks all parents to separate them, male in one bedroom, female in one bedroom, separately. You can also Tell them that don't allow uh, people to touch your body. Parents need to teach them, uh, need to uh, they ed to educate uh, their children, uh, which is wrong, which is uh, which is right. So if they are alone, mm -hmm. so for example, if they are alone, uh, parents uh, need to tell them, uh, don't let any stranger or even uh, any uh, uh, opposite uh, sex. Uh, even their family member, uh, I mean, like uh, left their alone with them. All right. Uh, so parents need to uh, educate their children. In such preventative measures, one of the most important things that you need to aware is your self awareness. You have to learn as much as information as you can about physical and sexual abuse. Learn who is most likely to commit uh, crimes of abuse why adults usually abuse children and seek out preventative information about child sexual abuse so firstly when you are out by yourself you have to trust your instinct if something doesn't feel right try to remove yourself from the situation it's okay to lie or make excuses if it will help you get away next you have to avoid being alone with people you do not know or trust Next, uh, preventative measure is setting personal safety boundary rules. You have, as a parent, you have to start early if your children in an appropriate age. Set clear safety boundary rules for your children. The following list give you five personal safety boundaries. Number one is no one should look at the private parts of your children's body, and the second, no one should ask your children to look at the private parts of their body. 
The third one is no one should touch the private parts of your children's body. And the fourth is no one should ask uh, your children to touch the private parts of their body. And lastly, no one should show uh, your children pictures of private parts on the television or magazine or even the computer and cell phone.